Yo! Hey man, what's good? I'm coming to start another freaking video today. But before we hop into today's video, hope y'all feeling good, looking good, smelling good. Hope y'all had a delicious. I almost said, hope you had a delicious day today. What is going on with me, bro? But now, I hope you had something delicious to eat today, gang. Bro, all I can say is, bro, with a messed up sleep schedule comes with a messed up eating schedule, dog. Like, I literally go to sleep at like 7.30 a.m. So I eat breakfast at 7.30, go to sleep, wake back up at like 12 o'clock p.m. Don't eat, take a shower, record, probably eat like a couple hours after that. Like, it's just, it's so weird, gang. But for y'all who be like, oh, how you gonna get your sleep schedule back right? You gonna be messed up when school come back around. <laughs> No, the fuck I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. But hey, man, I hope all is well with y'all, and I hope y'all getting everything y'all need to do done. But if y'all can tell by the title and thumbnail in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the proper ways to store your fragrances, okay? Now, I've been asked this question a couple times, and I was like, you know what? Let me just make a video on this so everybody can see it. And I'm gonna tell you guys specifically how, where I store my fragrances at. I'm gonna show you guys actually where I store my fragrances at. And um, yeah. So hey, without further ado, I know y'all ready. I know I'm ready. Let's get straight to it, gang. Let's go. Right, first up before i get into this i want to tell you guys why is it important to you know what i'm saying storm properly okay now as you guys know well as i discussed i'm gonna put a little graph right here when in fragrances there are different concentrations one well, of the most popular ones being edt edp and pop you know you know what i'm saying and um basically when you buy colognes about 75 percent and up is about alcohol okay and when the temperature changes and the humidity constantly changing it you know what i'm saying you constantly moving it around the alcohol can start to break down it can start to change smells because if you have if you have a clear fragrance you will actually see like it'll start to change from like clear to yellow like it's nasty like you will actually see bro but i'm not really trying to compare for real but that's the main reason why i feel like perfume oils thrive so much you can throw these in your pocket you don't have to worry about humidity changes because this is pure perfume oil and sometimes in my opinion if you leave these in the heat, they actually perform better. So if y'all the type, you know what I'm saying, take your bottles everywhere. I really don't recommend that. I recommend these for real, for real. But um, back to it, bro. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna start off with the most popular place I see a lot of men leave their fragrances. A lot of men, bro. And I've seen this in my lifetime. I know people who still do this, bro. And that is leaving their fragrances in the bathroom, specifically their countertop, bro. So you know what? Let me show you guys something right quick. The number one mistake I see people do is leave their fragrances right here and then they'll go take a shower and you guys know how all the steam covers up the mirror it will eventually get on this bottle and you'll be able to sometimes if you leave it you'll be able to wipe it and see and leaving it right there will continue to just break down the alcohol and change the smells worse and worse and worse and trust me you will hate the smell pretty soon and I know some of you people might just want to keep it in the bathroom you feel me so one thing I like to do is I like to keep it in my little storage sometimes. Well, I used to put it right here, but I found a little better place. But you know what I'm saying? Keep your little storage right here. And then if you have a little door closed, that's fine because the humidity is not gonna change in here for real. You guys see that little circulation, that's not really anything. But if you guys really, really, really wanna keep it in the bathroom, this is a, um, this is a good place I would do it too. All right, next place I see people messing up, bro, is leaving it in their car, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. You can have that little dummy grab that you leave in your car like something cheap or something. No, I'm talking about the motherfuckers who be keeping Dior Home, Lamar Le Parfum, Dior Sauvage Elixir, YSL Wild Le Parfum. Like, Fergus says they really paid a pretty high price for it and they just keeping it in their car like gang that's another thing bro that high heat will disintegrate that shit but if you just got a fragrance that you just don't care about like what like something like i've not nine pm something that's just dirt cheap and you just you know what i'm saying use for dumb grabs then that's fine for me you feel me i know some people that use sauvage for a car spray that's fine for me too but gang i'm just letting y'all know what comes with that shit bro the smell is not gonna same when you first bought it just don't leave your nice stuff don't leave the stuff you really 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 care about for real for real don't leave it in the car gang because it will change and the smell will mutate like the goddamn ninja turtles my nigga all right now that i feel like i discussed the main two problems people face when they you know what I'm saying store their fragrances and now i want to go into the solutions and the first thing i gotta say is bro just try to keep your fragrances ducked off okay like keep your fragrances somewhere far far away like if somebody was looking for you like if somebody was you know what i'm saying going through your room messing up all your shit they still couldn't find it you feel me that's how i like to look at it like keep your fragrances somewhere like the police couldn't even find that motherfucker like how the ninja turtles stay in the shadows 
keep your fragrances in the shadows, my nigga. Like there is no need for them to be, you know what I'm saying, exposed. There is just it's it's no need for them for, for I feel like that's just an ego thing, you feel me? Unless you got like a cool little shelf you want to show off, or you know what I'm saying, something like that. Next thing is keep it somewhere where the temperature is constant, okay? Now I see people, you know what I'm saying? I seen it. Well, I'm not gonna say a lot of people, but I seen, you know what I'm saying, a couple of people keep fragrances in the fridge or keep fragrances in the freezer. And game to me, it's just it ain't it, I don't know about all that, bro. I don't know if I need to do all that, big bro. Um, yeah. Like, I could see if it was, like, scientifically proven that's going to give me longer performance. That's going to give me so much projection. It's going to give me the hus. Like, I, I just... It, it got to be scientifically proven to me that something going to change for me to, you know what I'm saying, just be like, okay, I got to put my fingers in the fridge. You feel me? But nah, you don't got to, you know what I'm saying, stress it that hard. But just keep it somewhere, you know what I'm saying, where I say it's about 75 75 and under you feel me and the temperature is going to just going to stay the same because just like what i referred to the beginning of the video when that you know what i'm saying when that humidity keep fluctuating that's what breaks that alcohol down you know what i'm saying when the humidity stays the same what does the alcohol have to adapt to nothing all right now that we discussed all that i'm gonna get into my best ways of you know what i'm saying storing your fragrances and number one and that is being the closet okay the closet is a great space you feel me some of y'all i know some of y'all probably got big ass closets some of y'all probably got small ass closets you feel me but it doesn't matter you feel me you can put it at the top you can put it you know what I'm saying near your shoes it's just a ducked off place you know what I'm saying not really changing humidity you know what I'm saying constant temperature you know what I'm saying it's just a smooth place to keep it there it's dark it shouldn't be exposed to light too much you feel me it's just a good place you know what I'm saying keep it another place is a drawer a drawer is another safe closed space you feel me you know what I'm saying keeping the same temperature same humidity you feel me not exposed to light too much, just another great safe space, you know what I'm saying? Safe, cool, compliant. And my last thought would be a shelf. And I say shelf is like the least probable because sometimes, you know what I'm saying, it can be exposed to light, you feel me? They're not as ducked off as the first two options. Sometimes you might like to change the temperature in your house a lot, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, that might just be you. But just to me, the shelf is just the least probable, you know what I'm saying, scenario out of the three. But now I'm gonna show you guys where I store my fragrances at. So, um, let's go. So, um, oh, look at this. Look at this. I just got this bitch sitting now. But, um, yeah, I keep my fragrances stored right in this drawer right here. You know what I'm saying? It's my bed right here. And it's very ducked off. You know what I'm saying? It's very in a closed space. You feel me? But not going to show my collection. I told y'all. Collection video coming Friday. But I'm going to show you guys my other drawer. And this is basically all it is. You feel me? It's a very stuck off drawer. You know what I'm saying? Got my fragrances right here. Just imagine use my fragrances. Got my fragrances right here. And then whenever I'm not using them, duck them back off right there. You feel me? That's just like the best scenario for me. You feel me? It's just, it's a place where, you know what I'm saying? It's very ducked off. You know what I'm saying? If people come at my room, they're not just staring at my shit. You feel me? That's why I'm kind of iffy about a shelf for real because I feel like sometimes I'll be having my friends over and I don't know, some people, some shit can just, a tragedy can happen. I'm just scared of a tragedy happening, you feel me? But, well, you know what I'm saying? With me storing my fragrances right here, you know what I'm saying? I don't really don't have to worry about tragedies, you feel me? Like, I just, I know they good. I know they good. Where else, where the hell can they go? And if one go missing, I know somebody took it, you feel me? But uh, yeah, y'all, for me, I feel like a drawer is the best place to store your fragrances. Let me know where you guys store your fragrances at. But like I said, for me, it's the drawer. That's the, you know what I'm saying, best case scenario. But uh, yeah, y'all, that is it for today's video. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of y'all day. And uh, peace.